<laughs> we got ourselves a box. What's up, man? Right. Yeah, I gotta love getting a package in the mail, right? This is supposed to come last fucking year. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of J. Mac. <laughs> I've been there waiting for my Yeezy 350 Static Vigia to render, and a package showed up on the porch, which means these should be either my 700s or a pair of Pumas. Either way, I'm gonna be pretty all right with that. So let's go ahead, use the unboxing pen. Pop these motherfuckers open and see what we got. Oh, oh, these are my Pumas. Okay, the box is a little bit different than uh, most Pumas that you see because these are the Transformers more than meets the eye. See, you got the uh, Autobot symbol right there. You can see uh, Optimus Prime, which is Dome Piece, chilling up on there. You got Another picture of Optimus Prime on the side. The OG Transformers. See? More than meets the eye. I used to fuck with Transformers a lot when I was a kid. And then my son, when he was around like seven years old, he was like, yo, I want this Optimus Prime. And he showed it to me on eBay. And it was, <laughs> it was a 1985 Optimus Prime. And I was like, bro, that's like 200 some dollars. If I pick that up for you for Christmas, you ain't getting anything else. And he was like, I want it. I want to play with the toys that you used to play with back in the day. And that kind of melted my heart. And he got a couple other small things that year, but that was his big present was the Optimus Prime from 1985. Let's go ahead and remove the stock X cards so you don't see my name and my address. But let's take a first look at this together. <laughs> Puma, 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 Puma is just doing some big things in 2018, heading into 2019 with this Optimus Prime Transformers collab. You can see on the back there, you got a very nice reflective chrome Optimus Prime. You can see my face there too. You go, what up? <laughs> uh, shit. For those of you guys that wonder why I don't show my face, it's just I, I'm not really into the whole I need attention from the internet type of thing. I just like to let my content speak for itself, you know what I mean? But these shoes speak for themselves, man. You got that little see-through. Oh, that's that's not even vinyl. I thought it was gonna be vinyl. That's that's kind of like a supportive rubber, actually. I wasn't wasn't expecting that. It actually feels really nice. It kind of feels like the old rubber that you would find in between. You remember the G.I. Joes from the 80s? The rubber band that held them together and they snap back and you get your finger stuck in them. You're like, ah, motherfucker. And you run and you have to find somebody to pull the goddamn G.I. Joe apart because it's like a million times strength in between to hold that together. That's what that kind of feels like. But we got the uh, Optimus Prime. Autobot sign on the tongue, running system, okay. We got the RSO running system brand in there once again. Bottom of the, the shoe, just your standard Puma. Got some nice color block in there, red, white, and blue. Honestly, this might be my new 4th of July shoe. It's got the red, white, and the blue. The nice gray hits to kind of break that up in between, but dang! I'm feeling these. Ooh, it's a nice, nice mesh there on the tongue. I bet you, I bet you these are gonna be comfortable as fuck because they got that same kind of build like the Puma Thunder Spectras do. And I'm a real big fan of them. It's a, it's a heavier shoe though. It's not gonna be as light as something like an Ultra Boost, but um, for the chunky dad shoe type of people out there. Especially, you know, if you're older, you're into the Transformers. Even the younger guys, I guess they did kind of make a comeback when my kid was a younger, back in like 2007, 2008. But <whistles> I'm feeling these, man. You're probably going to see some beauty shots cut in between here. 
uh because i you know it's a little bit gray out it hasn't even i haven't seen a blue sky in like a month and a half out here in jersey we're like about like 10 minutes away from philly out here and it's, it's just been raining and shitty out for like the past months can't even get a blue sky to save my motherfucking life but Puma, Transformers, and these definitely are more than meets the eye. I can't wait to wear these. Mm. Still, that that Autobot on the back is pretty sick. Let me see if there's anything else on the uh, on the other back. Let's take a look at that. Let's hold them both up to the camera. Nope. Both of them's got the Autobot sign with the pool tab. Clean, clean shoe. A little bit heavy though. Oh, oh, and it's got extra laces in it. It's got some red laces. I'm not fucking with that though. I like the white. I think the white laces look pretty clean, but if they ever get dirty, at least I got an extra pair of laces that I could just pop up in there for the free. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was an unboxing. It's cold as motherfucker out here, too. You see me I'm over here shaking like fucking Michael J. Fox on Good Morning America. <laughs> but it's Jay. This is another episode on my channel, J.Mac. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Do you like these, or did you... uh? cop these did you like the, the the bumblebee ones too that came out or are you just not really on the puma wave yet but trust me you will be if they keep this shit up for show my name's jay this is another episode of j.mac thanks for watching i'm gonna get the fuck out of here man it's cold peace hey what's going on guys you saw that we got a package on the porch so you know what that means this should be my static 700 man motherfucker opening up his car diesel as fuck though i love the sound of a diesel can't get mad for the dude going back to work though on his lunch break.